Hi and welcome to this video on my Hooked on Laser channel. And this video is about a very straightforward solution to a specific problem I faced. But I already like how it works and I think you can benefit from it as well because it's a very simple solution that you should at least try yourself. And in the past my laser engravers had all honeycomb tables. And I have to say that I always consider it a knife table to be the ideal solution for cutting materials. And the challenge with using a honeycomb panel for cutting is that the laser beam reflects on all the crossbars, leaving unwanted marks on your workpiece. And I'm sure many of you have faced this issue. So because the knives are further apart, the number of reflection marks is less, but they are still there. And then I saw people use these small lifters, and you can easily cut them from leftover material and be careful where to place them. But what I did not like about this was that it is a bit unstable and you have to reposition these lifters pretty often and be careful where to place them. And if you make them from acrylic, the advantage is that they absorb the laser beam. So there are no reflection marks. And that brought me back to some kind of knife table principle, but then from acrylic. And that made positioning them a lot easier than with the small lifters. And there's plenty of surface to support the workpiece. However, I found them at first a bit unstable, but if you uh, lay them horizontally, they become stable and perfectly suited for cutting acrylic because they will not be reflection marks. But as I showed you in my previous video, one of the benefits of my Rayet R400 laser is that it can create a vacuum to hold light workpieces in place, which is a brilliant idea. And to create this vacuum, you only need to cover the surface of your honeycomb table. However, an even better solution is to cover the honeycomb table with extensive tape. And I bought this from my Trotec dealer. So now you can cut the area to the size of your workpiece. And when you place your workpiece here, it will hold it perfectly in place by the vacuum. And of course this is too impractical and also too expensive to use this tape for only one workpiece. So I want to leave it as long as possible because besides the vacuum effect you can create by narrowing the suction area, you also create a more effective extraction under your smaller workpieces. And especially with acrylic, which leaves a very flammable gas when cutting, the better the suction is, the less chance your laser beam creates a fire. But now a problem has formed. I cannot stick my acrylic bars to the honeycomb panel because of the tape. So then the idea arose to make a cross that I could attach to the honeycomb panel in the middle, right above the extraction. But this seems to be a very convenient way of supporting your workpiece when you want to cut them. And I can still lift the honeycomb panel to enter and adjust the extraction or clean the table. And because of the acrylic, you do not have reflection marks. However, the most beneficial thing about this cross is that it is ideal suited to support various workpieces of different sizes. It always supports your workpiece in four directions, making it very stable. So with this acrylic cross, one size fits all your workpieces, even the very tiny ones. And I have to say that I do not know if this solution is common sense, but I had never seen it before and I found it the most practical solution of all the things I have tried so far. So that is why I wanted to share this with you in this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and well, we see each other next time.